It's palette pyramid time. Dun, 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 dun. And who won this week? Gossamer Veil by Sherwin Williams. I'm about to give you a color palette that I put together utilizing Gossamer Veil as the main color on the palette pyramid. This means that Gossamer Veil is gonna be an awesome choice as your default color in your interior color scheme. So think hallways, think the living area, the open parts of your home, the primary parts of your home. Gossamer Veil is going to be right at the top of the palette pyramid Mid. What are the other colors to sort of build around it? If you're new here, I'm James. This is the paint people and we talk about paint colors, interior decorating and color theory and all that fun stuff. And palette pyramids are our way of putting colors together in pyramidal fashion. Thepaintpeople.com is your go-to destination for quality paint and paint supplies. We're more than just a paint store. We are your partner in bringing color to life. Our commitment to fast shipping ensures that your order will reach you promptly so you can start your project without unnecessary waiting. Visit our website today and discover a world of colors, quality, and convenience. And as a thank you for supporting us on YouTube, use coupon code JAMES5 for 5% off your order. I love to empower you guys to make your own decisions when it comes to colors. So what the pyramid does is it gives you categories of how to use these colors and then you can actually decide how you want to use them rather than picking colors specifically for each room. And if you want your own palette pyramids done, we do offer it as a service. Link in the description down below if you're interested in getting your own custom palette pyramid ranging from three colors all the way up to 11 or 12, depending on how many main colors you want. But today this is all about Gossamer Veil. So let's start with the top of the pyramid, which is that Gossamer Veil color. This is going to be the main color, the default choice in the palette, which means if you were to use one color in your home, this would be the one, but ideally you would use more. What's great about it is it's a 62 LRV color, so reflects a decent amount of light, as you probably know if you watch the review on it. And it has a lovely, subtle, cool quality to it. Maybe a touch of a cool green undertone that makes it really interesting. So I think it not only works as a transitional color between cool and warm, but it also just complements warmer elements really nicely. So you don't necessarily need to match everything up temperature wise because because if you have warmer wood floors, Gossamer Veil would look really, really cool on the walls. So let's move down the pyramid one step. We have our support colors, which are gonna be your secondary options, either another neutral to use on the walls or a wonderful trim color to use on your baseboards. And starting with that off white on the baseboards, I'd probably go with extra white, which is a beautiful, clean Sherwin-Williams white. Just a touch of coolness, but not so much that it's gonna look blue or green. It's just gonna look really nice and crisp, especially next to Gossamer Veil. So anytime you needed a white, maybe on your ceilings or in your doors or your window frames, this is gonna be my choice for this palette. And then for another secondary color that you can maybe use as an alternative wall color, I'd probably recommend something like Zurich White. What's great about this color is it has a coolness to it, like Gossamer Veil, but unlike it, instead of a cool green undertone, it has maybe a touch of an earthy purple undertone. So a little bit complimentary, a little bit of a fun dynamic that two have that's very subtle. But what's also nice is Zurich White provides more lightness. It has a 76 LRV if I remember correctly. And what that means is you're gonna have more light reflecting back into the room, a little more airiness and openness. So those rooms in your home that maybe Gossamer Veil just feels a little dark, Zurich White can really slot in and not only give you some more lightness, but just a slightly different vibe with that purple undertone. Now getting into the finishing colors, the accent colors on the bottom row. If you wanted a color to sort of inject some saturation and some depth. These are gonna be your options. Don't feel like you need to use them all, especially in one room. Just pick the ones that are most appropriate and most vibey for you. Threshold taupe would be my first choice, which would be your more safe option. It is a brown at the end of the day, although it does have that gray to sort of mute it and kind of shade it a little bit. And what's nice is it's a 34 LRV, so not super dark, but dark enough to have an impact. Great option as a room color, but also as an accent wall if you want something to just kind of pop a little bit while still being in that neutral family of colors. The second option I would give you is Earl Grey, which is this beautiful, dusty cyan color, kind of a charcoal slate green, which is really nice. So it's taking that little bit of green found in Gossamer Veil and just bringing it to the forefront. So this is going to really play into that undertone nicely. And again, similar to the last color, this is another one of those 30-ish LRV paint colors. So not super dark, it's not like it's a five LRV off black, where it's gonna feel very limiting in terms of its usage. This is a color that 
can absolutely be a wonderful accent color and a room color. Bathrooms, bedrooms, maybe even a kitchen, a well-lit family room, I could see it working as well. So Earl Grey would be my second choice. The third finishing color does bring in even more depth, even more darkness. And this time it's featuring the color of blue. It's called Outer Space. And this is a 12 LRV navy blue that is shaded with some black and gray to give it a slightly foggy quality to it. But unlike the other finishing colors, this one is going to feel quite dark. Use it purposefully in the areas that you want it to feel really shaded and kind of cozy. And what's nice about dark colors is instead of making your space feel smaller, they can actually have the opposite effect where the walls look like they're receding into the distance. Kind of like if you're looking into a dark cave and you don't really know where it starts and where it ends. That's exactly what dark colors can tend to do. So great choice for a darker option. And here's the Palo Pyramid all together. Please let me know what you think. And if you want more information on Gossamer Veil, we have it right over here. And then we have more palette pyramids right down here. What's my finger doing? It's like curving down unnaturally, weird.